Welcome to the introductory lesson of the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation Reading and Writing program. My name is Leila and I'm your teacher for the course. So at Chai and Conversation, we have years of material of teaching you how to speak Persian in a conversational manner. And our concentration has always been on getting you to speak as quickly and efficiently as possible. However, to truly understand a language, to really get as deep into it as you could, it is important to be able to read and write that language as well. And so we've added this long overdue course to our many, many learning materials. This course was actually developed by my mother, Farzan and Nuri, over the course of 30 years. It's gone through many iterations, and I truly do believe it's the best way to learn to read and write out there. And so I'm so glad that you've chosen to learn along with us. Now, seeing written Persian, you might think that it seems a little intimidating, but remember that anything is easy to do if you learn it a little bit at a time. And that's exactly what our course does. We learn in very small bite-sized lessons and you will be reading and writing before you even know it. And so today we're going to start by talking a little bit about the Persian alphabet and what makes it different. So first of all, the biggest difference between Persian and the English alphabet is that Persian is written from right to left. So our books open in the opposite direction and everything is in the opposite direction from English, which is obviously left to right. There are 32 characters in the Persian language. Four of our letters are only in the Persian alphabet and don't appear anywhere else, including uh, in the Arabic alphabet. One uh, leftover that we have from Arabic, however, is that we have several letters in the Persian alphabet that all have the same sound. And that's because when they came from Arabic script, in Arabic they do make different sounds, in Persian they're all the same. So we have four letters that represent the sound z, four letters that represent the sound s, and several letters that uh, represent the sound t. Again, when you see them in Arabic, they're different letters. In Persian, they're all the same sound. And those are things that you have to just memorize based on the letter that you are using. Um, another difference is that we are very dot dependent in Persian. So a lot of times you'll have the same base of a letter and depending on if there's two dots above it, one dot below it, three dots to the side of it, that will be a totally different letter. Persian letters also have a capital version and a lowercase version like in English, uh, except for we call them a big version and a small version. So bozorg means big and kuchik means small. So each letter has, it's, most letters have different versions depending on where they come uh, in a word, in a given word. And finally, one big difference between Persian and English is that uh, handwritten Persian versus Persian in print is the same. They're both script and they're both connected. So think of cursive in the English language. You only see that in handwritten English. And whenever it's in print, letters are always separated. In Persian, that is not the case. No matter where you see Persian, it is connected. So that's another big difference. So now that we have that uh, understood about the Persian alphabet, let's talk about vowels in the Persian alphabet. Three of those uh, 32 letters are purely vowels. And we have six vowel sounds total in Persian. Three of those are letters. Three of them are accents. Understanding the vowels is the key to learning and uh, learning reading and writing in Persian. So we're starting off this introduction, uh, introductory lesson by learning these vowels. So first, let's go over the letters that appear in the alphabet that also act as vowels. The first of these is the first letter of the alphabet, and that is the letter A. So A has two different versions. If it appears at the beginning of a word, it has a hat, kola. So that's a with a kola. And if it's in the middle or at the end of the word, it looks like that. It's a. So both of these are read a. The next vowel that appears in the alphabet is the letter u. And the last one, and that only has one version. No bozorg and kuchik, big and little. And finally, the letter 
E, and that is the last letter of the alphabet. And that has two different versions, Ie Kuchik, Ie Bozork. Um, another thing about Persian that I didn't mention is that each letter has a name and it also has the sound. In these lessons, we are not going to go over the names, so we won't get confused. We're just going to go over the sound. So for instance, this letter is called Alif. You might have heard that before. It's also in Hebrew, uh, but the sound that it makes is A. Ah, so we're only going to refer to it as A. Ah. So again, A, ah, U, E. First letter of the alphabet, last letter of the alphabet, somewhere between. Um, the next vowels appear in the form of accents. If there's an accent that looks like that above a line or above a letter, it's read as a. Ah. When it appears below a line or before, below a letter, it's read as e. Eh. When you have an o symbol above a letter or above a line, then the, the, it's read as o. Oh. So these are the only six vowels that we have in the Persian language. In the English language, we have a lot more vowels, and they are a combination of different letters together. In Persian, this is all the vowel sounds we ever make. So again, let's go over these. A, U, E, and then the accents, A, E, and O. So these symbols that I'm writing out are the same symbols that you're going to see in your PDF guides. So each of our lessons here for the reading and writing series has a video of me talking and showing you how to write words. There's also a PDF guide that you should print out and you should practice with. Each of these PDF guides has a lot of writing practice, a lot of reading practice, and you're going to want to do all of these. It's a comprehensive system, and all the letters are, all the lessons are also cumulative. So start with lesson one and just keep going along with me. And the more you practice, the better you're going to grasp these concepts and the faster you're going to get to reading and writing. Another difference that I'm going to talk about in the Persian uh, reading and writing versus English is that these accents that you see only show up when you're first learning to read and write. So we're going to include those as you're learning right now, but eventually when you see written Persian anywhere, these accents don't show up because people assume that you know it. You have to guess based on the context of a word which accents are on which word, which you'll see later. Don't worry about it too much. So now we're going to go over how these, uh, how our vowels interact with one consonant from the Persian alphabet. So let's go over our vowels again very quickly. This is an a, a with a hat, a without a hat, u, e, and then if this is the line of our page. If there's an accent above, it's a, accent below, e, and an o above, it's an o. So the second letter of the alphabet, a very popular consonant, is b. So b uh, has this shape and it has one dot underneath it. And watch as I'm writing. This is how you're going to be writing at home with your PDF guides. So see that I'm going from right to left and I'm going from top to bottom in order to write these words. Avoid the temptation to write the way you would be used to in English. So for instance, if I see this, I might be tempted to go the opposite direction. Avoid this temptation. You're practicing setting the groundwork and practicing setting up good habits from the beginning. And that's going to serve you later as we get to more complicated words. So now let's look at how this one consonant uh, interacts with these vowels that we learned. So if we have an a at the beginning of a word, it shows up like that with a hat. And we have a b afterwards, it'll be ob. So I'm doing these with different colors so that you can see the different uh, letters, even though they're connected. So again, when the b comes at the end of a word, we see, see b bozorg version. And then when it comes at the beginning of a word, we have this kuchik version and it's connected to the next letter. And again, this will become intuitive with you as you practice. Don't worry about it too much right now. Just watch me. So a be and an a becomes ba. A be kuchik with an o afterwards 
with an U afterwards, becomes bu. A B kuchik with an E afterwards becomes B. And now let's look at how these, uh, this consonant interacts with some accents. A B with an A over it becomes ba. A B with the accent below it becomes B. And a B with an O symbol above it becomes bo. So again, let's look at these very quickly together. Uh, this vowel is a. This one, u. This one, e. This accent is a. This accent, e. This accent is o. And again, these are the symbols that we use in our PDF guides, there will be a pronunciation guide in there for you. This consonant, second letter of the alphabet, is be. When you have an a followed by be, you get ob, and that's a very popular word, it means water. Be with an a after it, ba, with. Be with an u after it, bu. Be with an e after it, bi. Be with accent above, ba. Be with accent below, be. And be with an o above it, bo. So there we have it. We're going to practice with one other letter. And this letter is a little bit different, which is why I want to go over it in this first lesson. And that is the letter de. And it's different because it only has one version. Uh, it does connect with the letter that comes before it, but it does not connect with the letter after it. And so that's where you can see where this intuition is going to come in play. This would be hard to connect with anything afterwards. And again, you will see that as you keep practicing. You don't have to know that right away. If we have an A with the D after it, it becomes odd. A D with an A afterwards becomes DA. A D with the U after it becomes DU. A D with an E afterwards becomes D. And then let's look at the accents. A D with the Accent over it becomes da. A de with an accent under it becomes de. And a de with an o symbol above it becomes do. So again, we're going to practice all these. I'm going to point to it. You say what the letter is and see if you got it right. So this is de. A de odd. De a da. De u du. De i is d. De with an accent above. Da. De with accent below. De. And a de with an o above. Do. So there you go, a little introduction into the uh, Persian alphabet and Persian vowels. Once you understand these vowels, you can really read and write very quickly. It doesn't take much to learn these symbols. And next time, we're going to uh, learn four of the most popular consonants and how they interact with the vowels. And we're going to take it from there nice and slowly. We're so glad you've joined us and see you next time on the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation reading and writing program. Thank you so much for watching the Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation reading and writing program. As I mentioned in the video, this video is just one part of the complete reading and writing system that we've created. And you can find all of our bonus materials, which include reading practices and writing practices, 
on our website. The link is below, chaiandconversation.com. In addition to our reading and writing program, we have a comprehensive uh, conversational Persian course where we teach you how to speak conversational Persian the way actual Iranians do, not informal Persian that you read. And so uh, that's available on the website as well as our reading and writing program. So if you just go on there, you can see all the materials that we've created over the last 10 years. And hopefully we'll see you there.